Okay, now something else uh, we want to move on to. Um, we're going to Scotland on this one. This is absolutely <coughs> fantastic. This, of course, is your cruise and maritime. Um, absolutely beautiful. I've already had a look at this. This is great. It is, and, and what a great time, of course, with, with, with the Commonwealth Games going so well at yes. in Glasgow. It's fantastic to see uh, you know, Scotland featured again because this fe gives you a chance to go and explore Edinburgh in real detail. But you're cruising with cruise and maritime, a ship that's going to come out for them uh, next year called the Azores, and it's going to be completely uh, revenerated rated, rebuilt, and it's going to be a beautiful little ship. Again, with Cruise and Maritime, what are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about a very British cruise experience. The original line launched themselves in, in 2010, and they really do pride themselves on providing a very traditional, very allegedly laid-back cruise experience, where they give you great entertainment, great enrichment programs. They have lots of great guest speakers talk, uh, talking about the ports that you visit, uh, talking about different themes from maybe criminology um, through to uh, different issues around the world. Um, they're, they're so smaller ships and because of that you, you know you make friends very very easily the ship we're talking about here is only going to have 550 passengers on board so very personal service really thing. personal yes. when you think about you know some of the bigger ships now that have 4,000 5,000 exactly. passengers 550 a very, very different experience mm. great you know live music around there with the violinists and the pianos you're going to have uh, great shows in the evening for you to enjoy uh, and a great restaurant serving lovely lovely food they also do a lot of arts and crafts which of course is growing in popularity we know yes, that from our indeed. own fantastic channel on, on, on you know with ideal world but uh, the arts and crafts on board are going to be led by uh, very talented crafters, mm -hmm. giving you a chance to do things like bead jewellery and mosaic decorations and calligraphy and decorative card art. Um, and beyond that, again, club class, where you get to meet like-minded passengers and, and, you know, and play different games with backgammon and through like that. It's a very traditional, uh, laid-back, uh, mature cruise experience, highly recommended, and again, for a bargain price, going to the pharaohs going to walk the aisles. You know, I have to say it's absolutely incredible, and it is half price as well, so that mm. is extra uh, fantastic as well for you. Now, we're going to look at those destinations for you. So we're starting yeah. off, of course, in London, a relaxing day at yeah, sea. Yeah, get a cruise from the capital, um, yeah. my city, and then got a relaxing day at sea as you head up there, you know, along the coast of the UK, and you're going to the Shetland Islands. Oh, wow, what a, what a start, eh? Yes. This is wonderful. Uh, there's over 100 of these little islands, only 16 are inhabited. Uh, Lyric is the capital of the the archipelago and, and it's beautiful it's a really great chance for you to go and enjoy um, an area which originally was developed by the Dutch uh, in the 17th mm. century um, there's a load of different castles for you to explore Scalloway Castle was built in 1600 by Patrick Stewart don't think of the guy who was who was in Star Trek Straight a very away. different one um, <laughs> but anyway he, he it was never used it's been abandoned since 1615 that island because he was quite cruel and nasty apparently so no one wanted to live there um, Fort Charlotte as well which gives you great views over the whole of, of, of the area and the, and the harbour and also beyond on that you can go and visit the famous Shetland ponies and of course bird watching the Shetland Isles oh, is yes. known for its birds yep. you're going to go and see gannets uh, guillemots puffins razor bills kitty wakes formers and more it's incredible I love the Shetland Islands and this is a wonderful experience and a great start for your cruise now we're on to Torshaven then yeah again this is I mean this is a na this is a naturist's heaven and I'm not Ooh. talking about people that like to strip off and you know and get down I'm talking about people that love nature <laughs> oh, and this I is incredible he. because well you can do if you want to I'm not sure what they'll say on board but the thing here is you can go to Nick we go to Torshaven this means translated as Thor's Harbour and this is the Faroe Islands now this is a tremendously rare port to call into cruising wise it really really is this is like stepping back in time there's only 18 islands on uh, in, in, in uh, you know in, in the whole of the Faroese uh, and they're beautiful very friendly people they've all got this lot of kind of almost like this red hair and beautiful freckles again this is a great place to go bird watching you can get a chance to go out to the bird cliffs and grottos of Vestmana as it's known it will take you through these deep grottos carved in, in through the surf through the age and these high cliffs nearly oh. 1500 foot high great chance to go and see these little chaps as well very friendly beyond that you'll be able to go in and just in enjoy and explore this incredibly rough hewn coastline with these towering sea cliffs these emerald green valleys and really these beautiful houses a lot of the houses have turf on the roofs Oh, right, So it's yes. quite incredible. It's really, yeah. really great. So, so you've literally got grass growing on all the roofs as well. So traditional, it's isn't really it? It's really traditional, really beautiful. And if you want to find out more about that, I interviewed a captain, one of the Cunard's captains, and she comes from here, from the Faroe Islands. Go on Planet, go on the YouTube, type in Planet Cruise and have a look oh, there. Oh, yes, Captain yes. Inga, she comes from the Faroes, and we talk about that. That's a great chance. Now, they're on, then we're on to Kirkwall. Yeah, this is the Orkney Islands Ooh. now. I mean, <laughs> we really are seeing wonderful places here. This yeah. is Kirkwall, and this is a great chance. This is it, washed by the furthest reach of the Gulf 
Gulfstream. Uh, over 70 islands in total. Again, a bird watcher's paradise. And also a great concentration, in fact, the greatest concentration of prehistoric sites in all of Europe. Uh, you've got the Ring of Brogadance, which was um, used to study the stars originally, which has been there for 5,000 years. Scala Bray as well. Um, you've got the Highland Park Distillery. If you want to go and find out about Scotch whiskey and have a few tastings, I'm sure you and I would have fun there, Genevieve. I think we would be. And also the views <laughs> from Balfour Castle, uh, which is Britain's oh, most nice. northerly inhabited castle with these two-acre Victorian gardens are really, really gorgeous. I mean, this is, a, 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 again, a fantastic place to go and yeah. visit. And, of course, divers, you've got Scarpa Flow, the whole of the First World War German fleet sunk for you to go and dive in. That's it's incredible. Visibility is brilliant. Yes. If you're a diver like myself and, and you've not done Scarpa Flow, go and do it. You get a chance here. Right, something to uh, sort of mark off on your list. Now, also, we are then into Edinburgh. Yeah. We've got some great times here, of course, with the Edinburgh Festival well, as well. you've got two overnights here. Yes. So you've got a, the Ports Leith. It gives you a great chance to go into Edinburgh. And, yeah, you're there during the Edinburgh Festival. Not only that, but you're there during the military tattoo. So it's such a wonderful time to visit Edinburgh. It couldn't be better. You can go out to Loch Lomond if you want to. Oh, and go into the bonnie, bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. I can't. I'm terrible. I'll take the high road. You a take voice the of road. an angel. But we'll get there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or no road with my voice. But... Uh, Edinburgh is fantastic, and of course it sits on, on, on Arthur's Seat, this, this old extinct volcano. It's a beautiful, beautiful town to explore. Uh, you've got the medieval at Edinburgh with the, the great dormant castle. You've got the Royal Mile there with the castle at one end, all the way down to the Holyrood Palace, the Queen's official residence at the other. Um, go and get yourself a kilt. You see pictures here of the military tattoo with the <laughs> castle in the background. And of course, a very gorgeous, new, uh, kind of, they call it the new town, but it's with the Georgian architecture, and it really is stunning. And remember, 1 p.m., uh, the, the gun fires, and it's been doing oh, that yes. from the castle since 1861. Oh, it's just wonderful, isn't it? So much to see, of course. Now, we have got um, a beautiful ship here as well for you. It's a cruiser maritime, and this is the Azores as well, isn't it? Yeah, so, so this yes. is a ship that is coming out next year. It's the, the new ship replacing the Discovery for, for the small fleet the cruiser maritime have. And wonderful chance at such a half price offer to go and see and have a very traditional British cruise experience and really enjoy the UK. Now, I was actually chatting to this uh, with my husband because I just think this is absolutely incredible. It's mm. half the price. Take a look at that saving there. It is, of course, a nearly £550 saving per person. Um, it was over £1,000. That's taken right down. Now, that is under £69 per person per night and just a small deposit as well will secure that for you. It is absolutely amazing. You can see there, of course, you've got those two nights on board in Edinburgh and remember that's during that Edinburgh Festival and of course the lovely Edinburgh And it's Festival. only £150 deposit. So if yes. you only want to put deposit down, of course, because this isn't until, you know, to August next year, mm -hmm. £150. You're done. Absolutely. And it's secured for you. Let's take a look also at some excursions you can you can take. Now, these aren't the excursions for that particular <laughs> tour. <laughs> no, that's why, <laughs> you're that's not why I Singapore. kind of tripped over there for <laughs> Don't worry. That so, would be amazing. But you, but you will be getting a chance to go <laughs> and enjoy it. And the thing about all the excursions is they're up to 60% cheaper uh, than, you, than you'll find when you get on board. And yeah. it takes all the worry out of, uh, of booking. Because yeah. you, rather than getting on board, having that first day, going to all the port showcases, experienced cruisers will know this. You can book them before you get on, guarantee okay. that you're going to actually attend and get the, and get the, show, the, the ports, you, you know, Absolutely. the tours that you want to do. Yes. And then your first day on board, you sit back put your feet up, have a cocktail. You know, and you're ready to go. I did trip over a little bit because I thought, well, that's an excursion, isn't ah. it? From Scotland <laughs> to, to Singapore. Singapore. <laughs>